Hey gang, Kevin Tofel here with JK on the Run. And I want to take another look today at the Samsung Q1 Ultra Premium. This is the core solo based unit. We're going to take a look at video playback performance on this and we're going to compare it to video playback performance on the Pentium based Q1 that I've had for the past oh, 14 months or so. And actually as a benchmark, just to kind of give some idea of the playing field here, we're going to see the same video on my, uh, my Intel Core 2 Duo MacBook Pro. Obviously it's going to work perfectly fine there as expected, but this way you'll be able to see the difference in the different device specifications, what you're getting, what you can do, what the capabilities are. Uh, before we even go any further, since I mentioned my device uh, impressions, my performance impressions of this device uh, a couple days ago, well, kind of got folks in a, in a tizzy uh, explaining, or they were asking, you know, where's the news here? Why, this is useless information. I beg to differ, first of all, because this device comes with XP tablet out of the box, and some people may even be upgrading from a prior device. So I want to give them an idea of how the device is going to run out of the box with XP tablet. Yes, it runs better as expected. I'm sorry that it hasn't, I don't know, gotten people excited, but um, geez, let's not get our panties in a bunch, as they say, because <laughs> some people just don't want to run Vista on this device. That's certainly their prerogative, and this gives them some kind of indication of what the performance should be like. So. Anyway, let's take a look at, oh, where'd it go? Let's take a look at the HD trailer, 720p trailer of uh, Indiana Jones, the new movie coming out. And this is a 720p video. The bitrate is, I believe, 5.8 megabits per second. So we're, we're pushing the limits, obviously not on the MacBook Pro, but on the smaller devices we are, because right off the bat, the source video is bigger than the screen size, or resolution, I should say, of those two devices. Let's have a look, shall we? All right, let's fire this up, and this should play as expected. There we go. And of course it looks purdy. This is H.264 on QuickTime. Don't see any drop frames, and actually I've got the information here, let's see if I can zoom in so you can see not just the video itself, but you can see that the playing frames per second is near the actual source, if not above. We've got the data rate of 5826 kilobits per second, and the size is 1280 by 544. Let's zoom back out. And this is to be expected, of course. This is an Intel Core 2 Duo MacBook Pro, so it should play this nicely. I recognize that hat, do you? Alright, that should be enough of that. Now we have the Samsung Q1 Ultra Premium. This movie is the same, same exact movie. And actually before I even do this, I'm going to show the movie inspector which will give you a little bit more information about the file and specifically the screen size for this particular playback. I don't know if you can see it at the bottom. The normal size is 1280 by 544, but the current size, because I have fit to screen, is 1008 by 428 pixels. Let's see if... I don't know if I can zoom in any more than have that readable. So, let's zoom back out and we'll get this started. Okay, and what we'll also do is check the processor usage on this, even though we didn't do that on the Mac, but that's because the Mac was, wasn't breaking a sweat. Not quite as smooth as the Mac, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm not seeing many drop frames. A little more stuttery, but still very watchable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show the movie inspector and see if I can zoom in so that you can see what the frame rate is as it plays. Okay, we're down to 12 frames per second. 17, of course there's nothing really there, but black screen, 24. Now the action's coming up again. 12. So obviously a difference. It'd be nice to see 
15 frames per second, but as we get more action, things slow down a little bit. But again, still watchable. Let's see if we can go to the task manager and see if you can see what I can see. Let's see. Quick time is using up about 63%, 81% of CPU. 65, 69, so it's not pegging the CPU. CPU usage is probably around 80, 85% or so. We've got the Samsung Q1P, the Pentium based device. This is going to take the same 720p file which is encoded in H.264 and it's going to decode it and play it in QuickTime. I'm actually not going to bring up the frame rate the inspector that shows you what the frame rate is. I've done that before and what happens is that actually adds a little more overhead to the CPU and such making things worse. So um, I'm just going to hit play and let you look at it. And this has been previously downloaded so this is local. There's no there's no internet connectivity involved in any of these. And you can already see it's struggling a wee bit. It missed a whole uh, series of frames there. And now it's not doing anything. I wouldn't even call it watchable, to be honest. I've checked the task manager and the CPU usage in a prior test, and it pegs the CPU here as it's decoding. No, it's not too bad right now. Typically I've seen around 8 to 10 frames per second in a best case situation. And I can see quite a bit of skipping. Of course I've watched these files several times. Maybe it makes sense to do a quick side by side. If you can tolerate the stuttering, you could do it. But anyway, that's the Samsung Q1P. I've hit play at the same time on both, or roughly on both. Hmm, one on the right, what happened? Interesting. The audio is basically in sync, but the video is definitely out of sync between the two. Looks like a good movie, though. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what to expect from the two devices if you're looking at one or the other or a similar equipped device. Um, there's a couple key differentiators here that I want to mention. They don't truly invalidate this test, and actually I wouldn't even call this a test. It's really just to show you what to expect in terms of the capabilities of the device. Um, let me go over those four differentiators really quick. Uh, first of all, the processor is key, and the newer device has a 1.33 GHz core solo. The older device has a 1 GHz Pentium processor. A little bit of a difference right there. 
Additionally, uh, the graphics. Both have the Intel graphics. However, the newer device has the next generation of Intel graphics, the Intel GMA 950 or 950 GMA, I forget which it is, but um, and the Pentium-based device has the older version of the Intel graphics that go along with that chipset. So that has quite a bit to do with it right there. Now, I made things a little bit easier on the Ultra Premium, the newer device, because I'm only running Windows XP tablet on it. I say only because I'm running the more resource-intensive Microsoft Windows Vista on the older device. However, and again, this doesn't invalidate anything, from a RAM perspective, I have less RAM in the new device. I have one gig in the new device and two gig in the older device. I basically maxed out that older device, the Samsung Q1P, really to the best you can. Um, yeah, I could upgrade the hard drive a little bit more and such, but that's not going to gain me that much in terms of performance. I've maxed out the RAM and done everything I can. So that's about all you can expect when trying to decode an H.264 720p file. Personally, if I was going to watch this trailer on that device, I would probably just download the 480p version because it's less information to decode. So, again, just to give you an idea, not trying to, you know, have any big debates over uh, what to expect in performance. This basically was what I expected, but it's one thing to expect it and yet another to actually see it. Really kind of gauge the amount of the difference. So, I hope this helps you. Thanks.